Hey, it's Jared with another Elementor tutorial. Today we're going to build an image slider for the, the top of our homepage on this website. Uh, now, if you've been following along with some of my other tutorials, uh, you've seen that we've built a header and a footer custom without using any templates. And now we're gonna add a image slider to our homepage. If you wanna learn everything that there is to know about Elementor and get yourself started, I have a free course that's available to you down in the description below. You can get access to that course if you are uh, a Skillshare member or have yet to sign up for Skillshare. You can definitely access the course there as well at Skillshare.com. I've got a link down there for you. You get a, uh, a free, I think, month or so trial on Skillshare and so you can access the course. That definitely helps me out. So if you've been considering Skillshare, you can use that link down there below uh, or you can use the other link to my website where you get free access to the course. So let's take a look here. We're in Elementor and you can see we have a, a, a basic blank page canvas. It shows us our header and our footer, which I like because it gives me uh, constraints and lets me know what I need to design around. And now we're gonna be adding our image slider. Typically, image sliders are gonna go full width across the page. So we wanna add a full width section here. Now you can see that this full width section uh, doesn't go, this column doesn't go all the way across. Now there's a couple ways that we can make a slider in the background or in the foreground here. The simple way would be just to go and grab an element and drag it in like the slides element, throw it in and then we can make an image slider and we can make it full width and all that stuff. And there's some cool elements there as well. But if we have our section selected and we go to style, we also have the ability to create a slideshow in the background. Now, creating a slideshow in the background is going to allow those images in the background to change between the different images, of course, and we can set some parameters there to how that's going to work, but it's not going to have the arrows that let you switch between uh, images. Maybe you wanna go back to an image like you can in traditional sliders. It's not gonna let you do that. So this option here simply just allows you to add images to the background, which still allows us to add anything that we want in the column that is uh, in front here. So this is definitely a way to do it, but this isn't a traditional slider. This is more of a background image slideshow. So we're not gonna choose that option. What we do want is for things to go full width. So since we're gonna use a slider element, we need to go full width with our section. And then in our column, we also need to just make sure that everything is set to default, which it usually is. There shouldn't be any issues there. We are also going to want to turn column gaps to no gap, just to make sure that there isn't any spacing around the outer edges. And now we can go and grab our slides element, which is a slider pro widget. You can see when we throw that in, it goes all the way across and there's no gaps on the side, which is exactly what we want. And it comes with three slides that are built in. If we go into the first one, you can see there's the background, there's the content, and then there's the styling tabs here. Under background, we can change the color of the background to something else. So if we don't want this background color to be purple, we can change it to you know, bright red or something like that instead. So we'll just go bright red and things are toggling. So we'll have to toggle to our first list here so that we can actually see uh, the, the particular item. So we do want to add an image as a background. We don't want just a full color. So we're going to click on our image and we're going to upload a file and select a file from our computer. So I'm going to go and just grab an image that I have here and hit open and it's gonna upload that image. Now, it's very easy to upload extremely large images uh, to the slider. You wanna have an image that is, uh, I tend to go with an image that's about HD in quality. So around 1920 pixels in its, in its width. Right here you can see that this is 2048 in its width and the image is just under a megabyte, which is pretty large. You definitely wanna compress that down just a little bit, especially if you're gonna have multiple sliders. I'll hit insert media, and you can see for our first slider, we now have the background image with our text, our heading, our text, and the button over the top. The sizing is usually set to cover, but if it's not looking correct, you can change uh, the way that that's going to appear, 
and change it to constrain, which is going to give you probably sides on your image, uh, color sides, and it's not going to stretch all the way. Or you can even hit auto. But I tend to like cover because it does a good job of covering the image to that whole section. Ken Burns effect will allow the images to kind of fade and zoom in and out. So you can see the Ken Burns effect adds a little bit of a zoom to it, kind of nice. And you can choose whether it's an in or an out. I tend to like to, if an image is zooming in, then the next image I want zooming out. And uh, so have that kind of play back and forth. Um, now under content, here's where I customize the content. If you don't want any content, all you need to do is delete the things that are in these boxes. So delete out the heading and the heading is gone. Um, but if I wanted to customize the heading, I can do that. And I can change the button. And then I can add a link for the button. Under styling, I can customize the style of that text. Um, and I, if I choose this custom, it's going to allow me to customize the styling just for that particular slide, which may be important because if you have different background images, you may need different colors uh, for your font for that font to actually show up well. But I think that's uh, relatively easy to see. Um, if the background image is a little much, um, of course, I can go and change the background image to something else as well. Um, and there are also some slider options down here that we'll talk about a little bit later. But now we have our first section built out. Now I'm just going to delete the third. We're just going to edit the second one so we have two sliders. We'll go and grab another image. So we'll hit upload and we'll go and grab our other image. And now we have our second image, but you can see that the text is a little hard to read on this particular uh, this particular background image. So I might want to go on style and hit yes and make some changes here. Um, maybe just a text shadow will be enough. We'll see if uh, maybe I can add a little bit of a text shadow if that's going to help. I may need to increase the uh, opacity of that background or of that a little bit you can see here maybe you can see that it's it's adding that drop shadow and it is making it a little bit easier to read but it's still a bit tough so consider your image your image that you're choosing when you make these adjustments because uh, adding text over the top can blend in especially if your background image has text so we'll add some text here and here we go. So now that we have two sliders in place, if I want to adjust the height, I can simply slide this slider back and forth to adjust the height. Um, and then there's slider options such as autoplay, pause on hover, mouse interaction, the speed in which it switches between the next infinite loop, and then the transition, and of course transition uh, speed as well and content animation. So there's lots of adjustments here that we can make. Arrows and dots typically are a bit much for me. Um, I either go with just arrows or just dots. I kind of like having just dots um, down at the bottom because it's not as intrusive and the arrows on the side sometimes can be kind of hard to tap and I don't know, often they frustrate me on some sites. So now I've got a nice slider that's going between two different images. Um, and looks pretty good. So my second slide, I definitely would want to add the Ken Burns effect to. Um, here's another option, background overlay. So this is also going to help if our background is uh, too bright and our text is contrasting with it. We can add a background overlay and then change the opacity a little bit to make our text appear a little bit better. So that's another option there. Um, obviously, like I mentioned before, we would want to change our direction. And if we're using Ken Burns, that slide effect is, well, it's actually better now. It's not as bad as it was, the transition slide. We could change to transition fade instead. And now we're going to actually fade between the two images. Um, and that's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. So we've got it done. It's looking good. And now you know how to build a slider in Elementor. You'll want to click Update to make sure that you save changes to your page. And now we can refresh our page and see that our slider is there and it's looking pretty good. So 
definitely check out my Elementor course. Links are down in the description below. You can get it free from my website. You can sign up for a free trial at Skillshare and get access to it as well. That helps support me. And uh, there's lots more tutorials here on this channel, so make sure to click that subscribe button. Click thumbs up if you like this video, and I hope to see you back here soon in another tutorial on Elementor. Take care.